There's, there's a condition with the pupils, one can be big and one can be small. What's that all about? Well, there are a lot of things that can cause one pupil to be big and one pupil to be small. Sometimes if there's just a little bit of difference between the eyes, that can be normal. However, there's a couple different things that we worry about when one bit pupil is big and one pupil is small. Um, one is called Horner syndrome, which is a syndrome that affects um, the eye, get, how much the eye gets larger. So in that condition, this, this eye that's smaller will be the problem. And the, the other condition is what's called a third nerve palsy, which is a nerve that affects that, that will affect the eye getting smaller. Um, so in that case, the bigger one will be different. In those ones, you can see that the eyelids may be drooping or the eyes may not be straight. So if you see the difference between the pupils and you notice the difference in how the eyelids look or how the iris color looks, or if you see that they're not, if you see that the eyes are not straight, then it's more of, more of an urgency. However, if there is a difference in pupils, they probably should be valid just to make sure there is none of these other associated findings. However, there are other things that can cause this, either ab congenital abnormalities of the, of, the, of the iris themselves, and that should also be evaluated. Also, trauma, if the eye was hit by something, can also possibly cause a difference in the iris shape.